I feel dirty. For a minute there, I was like, are we being healthy Georgia right now? Are we being realistic Georgia? And being realistic Georgia. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Um, I just had a total mind blank then. What am I doing? I had a recent eye test and my prescription has changed. She is not a 2020 vision queen anymore um so i picked out some new frames with my mom last week so i need to pop into town and pick those up i also think i'm going to have a little look around and see what's there in the other shops i have not been shopping physically since lockdown so this is a bit of an experience um and i thought i would bring you along with me let's go shopping pick up my glasses i've got lots of errands to run today i need to send off another depot parcel return a Zara parcel which is a whole bloody nightmare in itself and what else am I doing? I don't know I've got a whole to-do list but let's start with the glasses so I can actually hopefully then see. We have arrived I've just spilled the entire contents of my handbag all over my car so that's incredible. So POA I'm gonna go to Spec Savers then I'm gonna pop into Boots and Superdrug. I know that Boots have got a massive sale on at the moment anyone who wears makeup will understand you don't just run out of mascara, you run out of everything at the same time and it's just a sad time for your face and your bank account but it has to be done and you know I never get excited by repurchasing the same products I don't know if that's just me I just feel like I f in my head I'm like this is not fun money to be spending um but it's necessary money so and I'm gonna look in Superdrug sometimes I just like perusing in there like skincare and stuff then I need to go to Tesco which I forgot I needed to do I need to get a Jiffy bag um well some Jiffy bags um a birthday card unless i find a birthday card in town um and some stuff for my mom it's also less than a month until my birthday now Woo. i was saying to my friend the other day i'm just not excited this year which it's wild for me it's absolutely wild because i am the birthday queen i love birthdays i love other people's birthdays i love my own birthday i love my family's birthdays i'm ow my neck oh, oh. this year i just I want to be 22 because I feel like that's a lovely age to be. The symmetry is thriving. But I'm just, I just don't want a day about me at the moment. I don't know why. I'm feeling really just like, anyway, I don't know why I'm rambling about my birthday. I need to go and do my shopping and pick up my glasses. Hello, everybody. I'm now at Tesco. I managed to get all of my bits from town, although there were a few like, maybe more high-end bits of makeup that I was going to treat myself to but they weren't stocked which just shows how much of a sad time it is living in my small town. I am starving. I was going to get a Greg's. Nowhere was open for food in town obviously um, but Greg's was open and then I was just like I feel dirty buying food that I don't know how it's been prepared. Now don't take this as gospel because I don't know what I'm talking about but I have such weird things with food and I can put myself off food so easily and I just kept thinking about like the people preparing it and I'm sure it's so sanitary and you know fine. They were all wearing gloves, masks, everything but you just you know when you I just put myself off the sausage roll life. So I'm gonna get um, I think like some fresh chicken from like the deli counter at Tesco and just have like a chicken salad or something I did not enjoy the shopping experience. I got in there and I just felt weird No one was people were being distant ish in the shops um, But walking around like the town center People were just all on top of each other and I was like get away from me I did such an annoying thing where I forgot because I haven't been out in so long I like forgot the essentials of what I need to take so I just took if I just um, oh my god, I've done it again. Where has that gone? Oh god, I've actually lost that now. What was I saying? I've forgotten, like, what you need to take with you to survive a day out, um, or an hour out of home. So I didn't take any change with me, because I don't really carry change, but I always have change in my bag, my handbag. Because I've swapped to use this cute little brown bag today, I just bought my card out of my purse, um, which wasn't the best idea, because then I was like, when I was in town, I was like, oh, how am I planning on paying for parking? Because we're not that high tech here in this little place that I live. Um, we still do change. We don't do Apple Pay. We don't do card. It's change or prison. I had to get some money out. An absolute feat trying to find a cash machine that was not out of service. Um, I literally got £10 out of the bank to buy Milky Way to get change. So 
that was fun. Hello everybody, we are back, we are back. Um, shall I find a better place to do this? Is that okay? Right, should we start with the glasses? Let's do a glasses unboxing. Let's see what we've got. So, I got my glasses from Specsavers. So I did get two frames. One is more like an everyday frame and one is more of a trendy, I really liked it frame in the moment, you know? So the first is this. Oh my gosh, I like these. It's been like two weeks since I picked these up so I've kind of forgotten what I even chose. Um, so, I don't really know the best way to show you these. I'll try them on for you. See, I just have this complex that glasses don't suit me because I had a pair when I was younger and I just, they just, they didn't suit me. They were not the right shape for my face, but at the time I got them because they were pink. Um, but I, I don't know, I just have it ingrained in me that they don't suit me. But obviously, like, the girl's got to see. I don't know. They are quite nice, aren't they? But I just don't know if I can pull off glasses. So that's the first pair, anywho. Maybe I just need to wear them, like on a daily. I only need them for close work as well because I'm long-sighted, yeah. And this pair was like a really crazy wild purchase. Um, so they are these like wire frames and what I liked about them is they're not gold but they're not silver they kind of sit somewhere in the middle which is quite flattering on my like skin tone and features favorite thing about them was the green marble down the side I don't really know how well that's being picked up on camera but I like these a lot they're a little bit out there aren't they they're a little bit a little bit wild what do we think I think they're quite cute do you see what I mean about, like, they're not really gold, but they're not really silver? Should I leave them on or do we hate them? I had anti-glare put on them, so does that mean they won't glare back at you? I don't really understand. Um, right, so, I got, from Tesco, I got a birthday card for Ali. Whoop, whoop, it's actually a really cute one, but can't show you because this will go up before her birthday. Um, right, I'm excited about this. This is actually the thing I'm most excited about buying. So this is, I didn't even know this was a thing, Dairy Milk Out of the Blueberry, lovely name, milk chocolate with blue, blah, 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 milk chocolate with blueberry flavoured nuggets and white chocolate crisp pearls. Excellent. I am a fan of blueberries and I'm a fan of chocolate. So I got this for me and my dad because he loves blueberries too. So I'm going to try it. I think it, they've got one of their, those competitions where they bring out like three and then whichever's the most popular will stay as flavour. Um, right, when I was in town, let's start with the boring purchases first. I just got a new set of purple shampoo and conditioner. I've heard this one isn't that great for your hair, but... It was the cheapest one and I don't really want to spend loads on a shampoo and I have noticed that my hair, I got it highlighted not too long ago actually um, and I feel like it's faded really quickly this time, like I look quite dark, like my roots are really growing quickly um, and the colour hasn't held and I think it's because the time before I used purple shampoo but then it had run out for this time so I feel like this really does make a difference um so i'm going to use this and hopefully get out the more brassy tones because my hair does tend to go a little bit brassy because it's quite dark naturally um so i just picked those up from did i get them from boots or Superdrug? then from i believe i got this from Superdrug. i got a l'oreal face mask this is the pure clay purity wash um and i got there were three different colors Oh my god, this isn't even a face mask. Oh gosh, I picked up the wrong thing. This is a... Oh, this is a face wash. Oh, no. Okay, this says morning and evening. Apply to wet skin and delicately massage in small circular motions. Focusing on the forehead, nose and chin. Um, it's a cleanser, basically, I think. Excellent. Well, that's not what I intended to buy, so incredible. From New Look, this was more of like a need rather than a one my favorite pair of joggers are so well loved now they're all bobbly they're just like they've got marks all over them they're disgusting basically um so i just picked up another pair exactly the same they're like mild um 
are kind of between white and grey, um, which is why I quite like them. Like maybe an ecru off-white colour. Um, they were £15.99, so cheaper than Misguided and PLT. And for me, the quality is better. I got a size 8 because these ones are quite baggy. Usually I buy my joggers a size above like my normal size just because I like the baggy look. But these are perfect. And the length is perfect for me. I've got short legs, so if you are more petite then I would definitely recommend new look joggers they've lasted me I wear them so much and they have lasted like six months maybe these were from super drug they had two for 12 pounds on their Maybelline um counter so I just got a new lash sensational this one is a new packaging I think correct me if I'm wrong but I haven't seen the packaging done like this before. So I always get waterproof mascara that is just my top tip. I know people don't like taking off waterproof mascara but I have no qualms with it like my eye makeup remover takes it off really well so this is what I'm actually most excited about everyone for about four years has been raving about Maybelline Fit Me foundation um the matte and poreless one I have never tried it and I just thought do you know what try it I've been needing a new foundation for a while but obviously you can't swatch anything or match yourself anymore because there's no testers so I've just had to kind of guess shall we try now this is where we find out this is just not a good match I don't want to get this on my mom's carpet actually because she will disown me. Even though it says normal to oily skin, I've heard so many people say it's really quite moisturising and good for dry skin. So I'm going to try this and I hope I like it. Maybe I should have got 102. Um, I don't think they had 102 in the shop. I was going to get 100 and then I thought I do have this really bad trait of buying the palest foundation because I, I know I'm pale but like I think I'm paler than I am. Um, so maybe this i can always blend it in i guess if it's the wrong shade but there we go so yeah those are just the little bits and bobs i feel like it was quite a bitty little haul but i just needed to like restock on quite staple stuff it's nothing too exciting um but i thought i'd share with you anyway i will let you know if that chocolate's nice i'm actually very buzzing to try that i literally just feel exhausted now <laughs> I've done nothing since we last spoke apart from sit on my bed and eat the other half of my Milky Way. I can't get over how much clearer I can see now. Genuinely, it's wild. I also just wanted to show you um, my updated ring game. Bam, 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 bam. Um, if you know me, you'll know that I've worn pretty much the same ring since I was about 14 when Pandora was all the rage. And it's just not really my vibe anymore. Um so i'm currently wearing two rings that my nan very kindly gave to me which were hers um they're actually two of her engagement rings on my left hand i'm just wearing this stunning um solitaire diamond on a gold band this was actually my granddad's engagement ring that he gave to my nan and then the second ring is just this gorgeous black stone i'm not sure what stone it is this was an engagement ring from my nan's other husband and then to just you know keep up the class i'm wearing a four pound asos plain silver band <laughs> um i'm quite enjoying like mixing the gold and silver together at the moment because obviously my i've got my tiffany necklace that i wear all the time and i've got my birthday necklace that i got recently which are both silver ow now my glasses are kind of goldy so is that a thing that's socially acceptable to do? Are we allowed to wear silver and gold together? I don't know. I'm just going to go for it. Um, so that is the current plan. I haven't even made my bed today. That's how much of like a CBA mood I'm in. Um, but I am cooking dinner for my family tonight. I'm doing my favourite dish at the moment, which is like a prawn linguine. I'm so buzzing. It's like sweet chilli, creamy prawns. Oh incredible hello everybody it is friday i am all alone in my little home um the time's about 2 p.m i think my younger brother and my mom and dad have gone to bath to collect my brother's car which he has saved up for um admirable saving honestly can't tell that we're related i'm very bored and lonely and hungry i had some food at about 11 but it's I'm kind of thinking do I want to just eat something else now or do I just wait for my dinner? I need to send off a really exciting job application and I don't want to talk about it too much because I feel like I'll jinx it but it is basically my dream job um but so competitive and I'm trying not to kid myself because you know let's get real but positive vibes guys I'm manifesting it I'm trying I'm obviously not doing a very good job um my hair <laughs> Let's not talk about it. I washed my hair 
and you know when it's like so freshly washed that it just doesn't nothing works nothing is like so <laughs> i know i just it's not it's not a good look um right i am gonna get some food because i'm actually starving then i thought you could just chill with me to be honest i got no one else to talk to in my house at the moment so for a minute there i was like are we being healthy georgia right now are we being realistic georgia and being realistic georgia oh name this quote i'm in the way but Ruby here, I'm talking to you. Okay, where can I put you and eat at the same time? My family and I have been watching Broadchurch. I literally can't do it. We got to the seventh episode. There's only eight episodes in the first season. Um, and we were just like, look, shall we be radical and just buy the last episode? £2.50 for one episode. But then we were like, I just have to know what happens and at this point it was like half 11 at night and normally we're all in bed by then so it honestly was very irrational um and we just bought it and watched it and it was an amazing time and then we realized because we were watching the reruns of Broadchurch which were every Monday night on ITV although we were watching it on a Tuesday because it was on at 10 45 and honestly that's just too late for us mm. Mm. the acting is just incredible I'm just such a fan um, cause also I feel like it's so dark, but it's quite funny as well. And I just really, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying that experience. Um, so if you haven't watched Broadchurch, I don't know what you've been doing. Oh my God. Is it Friday today? The Kissing Booth 2 comes out today. I'm pretty sure on Netflix. I'm going to go back upstairs cause I'm not vibing with this situation. Um, we all know I love a rom-com. I love it. I don't want this. I want a nectarine, but we don't have any. Look how cute the back of this top is. Well, what back of the top I hear you ask? Ha ha ha, that is what my dad would say. So I put a poll on my Instagram last night because I was, I've had two pairs of black boots in my ASOS wish list for so long. And I just feel like I need to take the plunge and just buy them. Because if I don't buy them now, I'll never buy them. Um, and I really, really want them for autumn, winter. And I just feel like they'll be a massive staple and just tie my life together at the moment it's like 34 votes to like eight votes and i think these were my favorite as well but the other ones were a bit more edgy and i was like i don't think i could pull those off because also i've got small feet small legs so i had to think about the proportions and stuff but i did get this pair of boots which arrived today i literally love these i'm so obsessed with them so they're from asos but they're public desire like the brand is public desire and they were 40 pounds which i think is quite good for a pair of boots i don't know it's so expensive i don't know they're very like hard wearing um and they feel really good quality oh my god just had the cutest delivery guy um in fact i think he's still here so i don't know if you can hear me although he did ask for my id which i think they do if they think you're under 16 because you have to be over 16 to accept the shopping so like slightly offended but what can you do at least he doesn't think i'm like 45 i guess um but yeah look so off she goes, carrying it all through. Um, I'll do a little, well, people be interested in like a little weekly food haul. We get so much food, but there are five of us living here and um, three of them are boys, so they have big appetites. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I've got a big appetite too, but the way they can pack away food is actually impressive. How should I, I'll just bring all the bags through and then we'll reconvene. Before I show you this, <laughs> a lot of food um my family have a lot of dietary requirements um i can't eat red meat or most dairy products my dad is a pescatarian um my younger brother doesn't like cheese or a lot of things like fish prawns so a lot of the time when we make a meal we have to do two lots of the meal with like variations of the meal this is what i need to <laughs> Put away horrific and then we've got some stuff on the table as well i thought i'd just like give you a little look at you know what a family of five can get through in a week um if that's at all interesting i love food hauls so if you don't find this interesting just skip um so crisps we've got fruit we've got some apples some bananas um this bread is stunning it's my favorite 
bread that's not the bloomer bread from Waitrose. These I've never seen before. I'd also like to point out that my 17 year old brother does our food shop, so we have some questionable choices always thrown in there, which, like why, we don't know. It's just the situation that's occurring. Some Pringles, some squash. Will like summer fruits. I like apple and black currant. Um, bottle of red wine for my dad and maybe me if I'm feeling a bit cheeky, but don't really touch that stuff anymore. Um, some tomato mascarpone sauce. I think this is because I made a pasta bake last week and Will really liked it, so he's probably bought for that. Tin of beans for Harry, because when he's fussy and doesn't like what we're eating, he'll do beans on toast. Lots of chocolate, that's how we live. Full fat milk for the boys. Um, almond milk for me and my dad um, block of cheese always two lots of apple juice um, we live for this with most stuff <laughs> we love a bit of dip um, creme fraiche for my bacon pasta lots of veggies we love veggies um, peppers some mushrooms spinach kale two iceberg lettuces Harry eats a lot of that for his lunch some asparagus, which I love, um, some carrots, some red onions, some cucumber down in there, potatoes, and we've got some sweet potatoes in there, um, fruit, we are strawberry eating machines, we get through strawberries like there's no tomorrow, so two small punnets and a huge punnet, don't know why he got different sizes, but there we go, some blueberries, my dad has these with his breakfast on his porridge, um, and a big thing of raspberries, Onto the meat, we have a whole chicken. This is for our roast this week, I think. Um, some, what are these? Breaded goujons, that's gonna be for a lunch probably. Um, some, a small pack of sausages, which will probably have like sausage and avocado muffins or something for lunch. Um, now we've got turkey breast strips. This is what I mean by we can't eat, well, because I don't eat red meat, my family tend to not really eat, have red meat in the house. Um, so we have turkey alternatives for stuff. So like our mints, we have pork mints rather than um, red meat mints. Um, so we've got more sausages. These are gonna be probably for a tea. Um, some bacon for my bacon pasta. This, I think we're having this tonight. This is incredible. It's um, chicken marinated in like a tikka um, sauce and dressing, so good. Um, so we've got three of those, tagliatelle, can't live my life without you, some eggs for my dad because he has eggs sometimes as an alternative for when we have meat, um, some salmon for my dad, some cod fish fingers for my dad, they're last week's avocados, um, is that everything? Oh, we've got some stir fry stuff, so we have the... I used to be obsessed with this stuff. We have the wholesome um, brown rice and green vegetable stir fry. I ate this too much though, and now I don't like it because I had it too much. And then we've got stir fry veggies, and I think we've got hoisin, and we've got teriyaki. Yeah, we've got plum and hoisin sauce. Um, that's like the bare overview, I guess. What we've also started doing is planning. Will will plan our meals. So today we're having, ignore my two broken nails by the way, it makes me really upset. Today we're having um, chicken tikka salad, tomorrow turkey stir fry, which I probably won't eat just because I'm really not a fan of stir fry, so I'll sort myself out. Sunday roast chicken, Monday bacon pasta, Tuesday spag bowl, we love pasta in this house, as you can probably tell. Um, Wednesday, Kiev's and chips, Thursday, sausage and mash. Again, there are like little variations, so like I might have salmon maybe with my dad when they have the stir fry. Um, and I don't really eat mashed potato, I'm not a huge fan, so I'll either do like fresh potatoes or, um, I don't know, salad or something. Um, but yeah, that's like the bare bones of what we can get through in a week. And then because we can absolutely chomp through all of this, my when my brother goes to work, um, he works at Waitrose, hence the Waitrose shop. Um, he will like pick up bits and bobs as and when, like if we run out of milk or butter or bread um, and essentials and things like that. So yeah, I hope that was fun and allowed you to have a little nose into what we eat and what our meal plan is for this week. Now I've got the not so amazing task of putting it all away but do you know my least favorite task our fridge is quite bare right now but like really bare look so bare but I hate sorting through the fridge and like chucking the old stuff out I'm just like oh hello 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 h
color. I wasn't sure whether to film this little section of the video, um, but I do feel like it's important to be authentic and I really want to keep my social media as real as possible. I had my eye test, as I said last week, got my new glasses. This is a pair on my head right now. Whilst I was there, my optician, who I'd never seen before, I used to go to a different opticians and this time just for ease and practicality, I went to a different, more local optician and had a very extensive eye test. She was very lovely, but she did discover a mark on the back of my eye. So she said, I've got this mark on my eye and not to be alarmed, a lot of people have birthmarks on the backs of their eyes and the sides of their eyes and stuff. Um, but she was slightly concerned that I hadn't been told about it if I had it because it would be something that your optician would or should mention to you really. She referred me, sorry I'm getting very fidgety, she referred me to an eye doctor. No, know there's a posh word for it but off the top of my head it's not coming to me right now. I have a phone consultation tomorrow morning. Obviously because of coronavirus they're not doing face-to-face consultations unless it's um a necessity so i have a consultation tomorrow morning and i'm not gonna lie i feel so anxious about it i just thought i'd be real and hopefully um be able to put across the fact that no one's life is perfect you don't really know what's going on behind closed doors and i really wasn't going to share this at all because I didn't feel there was any need. Hopefully all will be okay with that. I just thought I would share because um, I didn't want to post this vlog and to know that this was a big part of my week and to not address it potentially. Not that I feel like anyone cares or I have a massive following or anything, but just more for myself. I don't really want to put content out there and um, leave important points of the week out. That is the plan for tomorrow morning. Um, I then am having a lovely day, hopefully. I'm going to Nottingham with my parents um, to see my brother who is at university there. Um, he was on my channel, He did. I, we did the song association challenge together. I haven't been to Nottingham in ages, but I do really like the vibe there. Very student-y, which I miss dearly, so dearly. But it's all going on, it's very exciting. I feel like life is starting to pick up again now. Um, I just thought, I've been talking for so long, my editing self is literally going to hate me. Um, all I've done this entire vlog is just ramble. I'm also in my mom's office. This is like why it's such a bougie environment. Like this artwork, come on, we love it. My friend Bronte has a food blog or a food blog Instagram. And it's just thriving at the moment. I'm really enjoying it. This, I'll show you. I'll show you the vibe. Look how lovely and aesthetic. It just is amazing. And she makes all the stuff herself and she shares like cafe food pics and they're always so aesthetic. Like we've been for the same meal and I've tried to take a picture of the food. Bronte's taking a picture of the food. And hers looks like she's been to like the bloody ivy or something. Say we're in Bills. And mine just looks awful. And I just, she she's a talented soul. Right. I need to get on with this job application. Stop distracting me. Morning all. It is. Saturday. Um, I always have a piece of hair here that wants to separate from... There we go. I'm about to head off to Nottingham. I had my eye appointment this morning. Basically, it's what I thought would happen is that because obviously it was done as a phone consultation, they can't actually examine you. Um, so I'm being referred to the hospital in a couple of weeks for eye tests and stuff. Fun, fun, fun. Um, so, not really much to say about that. I am heading off to Nottingham in a minute. Let me show you my outfit. This sweatshirt is Ralph Lauren. Um, I got it when I was in America. Um, in like a little independent store, I think. These are the same jeans that I've worn in a vlog before. They're from Gap. Trainers are Nike. Socks are Fila to match the red in my jumper. Bag is misguided hair again is not cooperating so it's gone on my head and i'm gonna wear my glasses so i can see it's normally me i'm it's vlogging expensive. today yeah. gonna be in the vlog yeah. come on yeah. be a sport it's technically not nottingham is it it's loughborough 
Um, no, don't give away specific locations, yeah. Dad. Just go on the internet. I've claimed top spot, so my mum's in the back. Sorry. Okay, well, check in with you when we're there, I guess. We have arrived. Why are you driving? We're going to wait for them. I'm going to go and get them so they don't get wet. Oh, that's nice of you. Just going for a spot of lunch, which I am so excited about because I haven't been to a restaurant or a pub and sat in. Have I sat in in a restaurant? No. No, I haven't. Um, since the lockdown, we're just going to a pub called The Otter. I just really fancied a Diet Coke sat in a pub. Do you know what I mean? Bit of a feat to find somewhere open, wasn't it, Dad? It was, though, did, yes. <laughs> True natural. <laughs> pub to the grub, pub to, where are they? We're waiting for the chauffeur. Oh my days. Mm. Mm. There's a couple of one for your Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, excellent. I've gone for the calamari and some fries. I think this is, what was it, Tom? Chipotle, chili, chipotle, chili mayo. Chipotle. Yummy. Very exciting. Loving it, loving it. First pub dinner. We love to see it. <laughs> Yum.